Hey my good friends, Sam Haymart. For Test Driven TV, we've got another episode of Under the Hood, this time with a 2017 Toyota Tundra. We're looking at the 5.7 liter V8. Full Underhood Tour, it's coming right up. The 5.7 liter V8 engine in the Toyota Tundra pickup known as the 3URFE has been around as we see it since 2006 and is manufactured exclusively in Toyota's Alabama engine plant. It's the same engine you'll find under the hood of the Toyota Land Cruiser and the Lexus LX570, though in those two vehicles it does come now with an 8-speed automatic transmission, where here in the Tundra it's paired only with a 6-speed automatic through at least the 2018 model year. Proven to be very refined and a reliable engine, it produces 381 horsepower and 401 pound-feet of torque. In our limited 4x4 tester, it has an EPA rating of 13 MPG City, 17 MPG Highway, and 15 MPG Combined. In my week of testing with it, I averaged 13 to 14 MPG Combined. It's a relatively large engine in its physical size, constructed of an aluminum block and sizable dual overhead cams with dual variable cam timing, driven by a steel timing chain. Given it has been around for some time unchanged, it still makes do with port fuel injection and doesn't yet offer direct injection like many of its competitors now do. Following the airflow, the intake charge starts at a large air filter box on the passenger side and passes through a large single throat throttle body at the front of the engine. From there it travels into a plastic intake manifold and into the cylinders. After combustion, exhaust exits through tubular stainless steel headers and into three-way catalytic converters mounted directly to them. The engine compartment itself is pretty spacious in terms of access to most components for servicing in comparison to a few of its peers. At the passenger side, the air filter box is easy to reach and to open. The windshield washer fluid is right up front along with the power steering fluid reservoir as the Tundra still does have hydraulic power steering. On the driver's side, you find the brake master cylinder and fluid reservoir easily accessed. Ahead of it is the main fuse panel that houses most of the common fuses and relays owners will need to access. The battery is just ahead of it, also within easy reach. Looking around the engine compartment reveals a reasonably high level of sound deadening material both in foam blocks found on the engine as well as the bottom of the engine cover, but also on the bottom of that hood. This is one of the reasons for the Tundra's quiet demeanor around town and on the highway. Though quiet, one will notice the whoosh of the cooling fan from time to time as it remains old school, attached directly to the accessory drive with a clutch instead of using electric fans that more and more vehicles are utilizing today. Of note, our Tundra featured the optional TRD Performance Air Filter and TRD Dual Exhaust, both of which enhance the sound and the feel of power around town. Alright my friends, there you have it for the Underhood Tour, the 2017 Toyota Tundra with the 5.7 liter V8, and of course it's going to be relevant to pretty much any Tundra with that 5.7. Now you can see my latest test drive, my full test drive review of the Tundra pickup by clicking right there, or subscribe to my YouTube channel right there. Either way, stay tuned.